Good afternoon guys, it's Kevtech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. As always, I like to make my Q&A videos, but this is going to be a little different. This will be a video on help desk and IT support. Proper way to answer a phone call, proper way to talk to someone on a phone. So for me, it's, it's, it's three different things. It's, it's, it's uh, smiling on the phone, being happy. The second thing is giving a common greet or talk to someone. Basically a common greet on the phone that makes you sound smooth and, and good on the phone and makes you sound like you know what you're talking about. It makes you sound like you're confident, so be confident on the phone. And also the third thing, I call it like the end phase or the delivery. And it should go something like this. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So say for example, if someone's calling you, this is how it should go. Good morning, help desk, Kevin speaking. How may I help you? Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, what's going on? You having an outlook issue? You have? You are? Okay. All right, let me see. You mind if I have a look? Can I do a screen share with you? All right, awesome. Yeah, so I see Outlook, it, it, so what happens, every time you, you open a new email, it says Outlook not responding and crashes. Yeah, is that what it's doing? It is? All right, let me see. Yeah, so I see you have a, a bunch of add-ins on Outlook. It seems that this add-in keeps crashing it. Are you, do you even use this add-in? What is this, a Bloomberg add-in? Do you even use this? No, you don't, right? All right, let me disable that for you. All right. Can we close out Outlook for a second? All right, let me close out of it. Let's just restart it for a second. All right, let's turn it on. Let's open it again. Can you make a new email now? Draft a new email? Ah, oh, it seems to be working now. Ah, oh, look at that. It looks good now. All right, awesome. You should be all set. Is there anything else I can help you with? No? All right, if you need help or anything else, feel free to reach out to me or feel free to send an email to help this. We are here to help, okay? Sounds good? All right. I hope you have a great day. All right, take care. Bye. So that would be scenario number one, how to talk to someone. Say, for example, um, you have a ticket, you're following up with a user, or you're following up with a client, and they've been having the same issue over and over again. No one has been able to resolve the issue. So they're frustrated and annoyed. Um, this would be scenario number two, where you empathize with the customer. You have to know how to talk to the customer. It would go something like this. Hi, good morning, Tom. How you doing? How's your day? Good? How's it going? Uh, this is Kevin from IT. IT Help Desk. How you doing, man? You good? You awesome? You good? Yeah. So what's going on? You're having an issue with, with Excel? Excel keeps crashing for you? Yeah? Am I the second person to call you today? Yeah? They haven't been able to fix that for you? No, they haven't been able to fix that for you. That's unfortunate. All right, let me let me look at this for you. I'm sorry to hear that. If you don't mind if I look at this for you, I think I know what the issue is. So we, we did do updates uh, a few days ago, um, and there might be an ad in here that's causing it to crash. Can I look at this, for example? For a second, I mean? Can I look at this for a second? Sorry. Uh, let's see. So you're having an issue with, with Excel. Let me see what's going on. All right, so... Can you open a document for me? You tell me it crashes every time you open this document. Is it every document or is it just one document? Can you open another document for me? I just want to see if it's every document. All right, it seems to be every document. Every time you open every Excel, it crashes. So it's definitely not an issue with, with the, the documents. It's an issue with Excel itself. Let me see if I can open it in safe mode, all right? Give me a second. All right, I'm going to open it in safe mode. So basically what that means is I'm opening it without any add-ins. You know how you use the Bloomberg add-in, you use all these other add-ins on Excel? I, I think like one of the add-ins is causing it to crash. So let me let me just check that real quick. All right, let's open the file again. All right, it seems to be opening now. So it's one of the add-ins that's causing it to crash. Let me, let me check again. So there's this weird add-in here. This is Oracle, Oracle add-in. Do you use that? You don't? Can I disable that for you or remove it? Is that okay with you? All right, awesome. I'm going to remove it. All right. Excel should be working now. Open a few documents for me. All right. Open another one for me. All right, that one looks good, too. All right, you should be all set. I'm sorry about that. I apologize for that. I, I think I think uh, I would think it was the add-in. Um, if you have any, if you need help with anything else, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, feel free to reach out to help desk. 
Can I help you out? Can I help you all with anything else? Is there anything else you need to look at? Is that it? Okay. All right. I hope you have a great day. All right. Take care. So that would be another scenario where you're having an issue with someone and they're and they're frustrated. You gotta know how to empathize with the client. You have to know how to how to put your yourself in their shoes. So you have to know how to properly uh, talk to the person that you're on with with on the phone. Just basically talk to them like a regular human being. Don't use technical jargon and properly know how to talk to them. Say for example, another example would be. Um, you're having an issue that you've never seen before and you don't know how to fix it. So you wanna you wanna but you wanna ensure the customer or the client or the user that you'll get back to them. It will go something like this. Hey Tom, how you doing? Good? Let me what do you what, what's the issue you're having? You're having an issue with, with what? You having an issue with Excel again? Is this Excel? Is this something else? No, this is Excel, right? Alright, let me see. So what they did for you already? They uninstalled and they uninstalled reinstalled Microsoft uh, Office. They did. What else did they do? They they um they removed the add-ins. It still crashes. All right. What else they did? Um. It's every Excel file. So they were they remove they removed the Office. They reinstalled it. You're still having this issue. They remove the add-ins. You're still having this issue. Is every time you open it, you open a specific file? Or is it every file? It's every file. That's not. That's not good. Um, all right. Let me see something. So, it's still happening. All right. Even for me, it's happening. I. I it's a strange issue. I've never seen this before. Um, hmm. Is there any way? I, is there any way I can? I could. Uh, I'll give you a call back and get back to you. Let me let me look into the, let me look into this further for you, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna talk to my colleagues, see if anyone has ever seen this issue before, and I'll get back to you, okay? Give me give me like a half hour or so. I'm not I shouldn't take that long. I just want to see if anyone has ever seen this issue. If not, we'll, we'll, if not, I'll escalate it. But let me let me figure out what's going on with this, okay? Is this happening to you? I just I just need you to answer me a couple more questions before I hang up. Um, is this happening to just you, or is this happening to a bunch of other people? It's happening to a bunch of other people. Oh, that, that's not. Do, do you know if do you know when was the last time um, you restarted your computer? Let me just double check for you. All right. Yeah, yeah. You you, you do restart today. Um, you got the latest updates too, so it looks it looks right. So, and it's just Excel is having this issue. Hmm. That's weird. All right. Let me. All right. Let me give you a call back, okay? And and uh, let me look into this for you, and I'll get back to you. This sounds good. All right. I hope you have a good day. But before, before, um, sorry, before I hang up, is there anything else I can help you with? That is there. Is that the only issue you're having today? Just Excel. Yeah. All right. All right. Sorry about that. All right. You have a good day. All right. Bye. Yeah. So that would be another scenario. Uh, for example, so it would be something like I'll get back to you. You don't say I've never seen this issue before. You say I'll get back to you. Um, let me let me look into this for you. I get back to you. Or uh, say something like, I will escalate this, or I will talk to someone to see if anyone else has seen this issue before. Sometimes the issue has been seen before or closed out before, if that makes sense. And basically, you probably got to go into your queue or your tickets and see maybe maybe someone's fixed this issue before. You don't know. So check, check service now. Check your ticketing system. Maybe someone has seen this issue before or has fixed this issue. So, so that, that's basically, this is basically common common scenarios of how you would talk to people and how you interact with people you have to know how to talk to them talk to them like human beings talk to them like like they're not robots and that's the ba that's the basic way of talking it's it's not it's it's not complicated so every scenario would be something like good morning good afternoon um, I hope you have a good day is there anything else I could help you with um, are, is it is this is, is this issue only affecting you is anyone else having this issue um are you do you, do you need me to look at in, you need me to look into anything else? That's it? Nothing else? Okay, awesome. Um if you have any other issues feel free to let me know and I'll and uh feel free to let me know or send email to help this. We'll be more than happy to get back to you. Things like that. That's how you would talk to people. You talk to them. This is proper 
this is proper um, res like personality. This is proper etiquette. This is how you would talk to people if you work in an IT environment. This is this is a proper way to talk. You don't you don't scream or yell at anybody. You you, you treat them with respect, and they'll treat you with respect. That's the right way to talk. So with that being said, I hope this helps you out. Use it as you see fit. Um, hopefully this helps you out in your environment. Maybe maybe you don't know how to how to. Maybe you don't know how to talk to someone, or maybe you don't know how to interact with someone, or maybe you're having an issue with someone that you're trying to talk to and they don't want to open up with you, or they're frustrated and annoyed. Uh, show empathy. You can say, I'm sorry you're having this issue. Uh, let me see if I can fix this for you. I've seen this issue before. I, I think I know how to fix it. If I can't fix it, I'll either get back to you or I'll escalate it to my manager. Something along those lines. You have to reinsure the person. Once you get them inside, or once you grab them and insure them, then they'll give you the opportunity to fix that problem for them. So you have to know how to talk to people. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you have a great Sunday. Take care. Bye.